I was just wondering with the brain work, can you do that on children? Oh, absolutely. You want to do that. <laughs> so for example, we have a class on membranes. You know, you need to have brain one first, but mm -hmm. you have all the problem of lack of oxygen, creating cerebral palsy, for example. The membrane are really, really tight. All the infection, all the corporate trauma. And what happened with the brain is very beautiful. The brain is often a bit torque going to the um, uterus. And when you bring it back in alignment, brain and spinal cord is going to release the tension on the cranial nerve and spinal nerves. You're going to see the baby that's like, uh, and boom, you're going to, they're going to look at you. They're going to come present. And it's nice to do that early enough to make sure there's no dysfunction of the, the cranium is, is very common because the bones has to go on top of each other because the cranium of a human being is too big for a woman. We are on the limit of how big our brain could be, they say. So they have to already make the bone fold on top of each other in order for baby to be born. So those has to reopen. So you need to check a little bit of this very gently. And then, you know, with the brain, with the bones, the membrane, three compartments of fluid, gray matter, white matter, with the gray matter, we have the nuclei and the cortex and the neurotransmitter. If you check that very gently, and especially just the torque of the brain, the baby is going to really come present in front of you. And it's uh, beautiful. I mean, it's like you make, it can make you cry to see it really coming, finding his body. And if you check that very gently, and especially just the torque of the brain, the baby is going to really come present in front of you. And it's uh, beautiful. I mean, it's like you make, it can make you cry to see it really coming, finding his body and not floating, fl floating energetically around the room, you know, and the baby's present, his brain is working, he's not going to have a problem at school, something very, very important to do, gently, gently. So you check the bone, the membrane, the brain, gray matter, white matter, you have a few things to check that are really important. It doesn't take much and it's absolutely essential to give them a very good start in life. You know what they say, has the twig is bent, they're going to grow with that uh, bent twig and you want to bring that very, very much in balance, in symmetry, and they're going to have a great cognition. And they're not going to be fuzzy, irritated, we have a bunch of dysfunction or pathology also that come for, you know, having those nerves impinging some uh, cranial nerve, for example. 9, 10, and 11 go through a foramen that can be easily squeezed in the occipital mastoid suture and that gives them fuzzy kid, irritated, a big problem with digestion, sometimes vomiting. So there's a lot of pathology that can be created by these uh, dysfunction of the cranium, cranium membrane and the brain. So it's absolutely essential to do that with baby. Now you just have to be uh, gentle and trust your hands and feel comfortable. A baby that has very tight membrane can be as tight as any adult. I mean, the bone are floating, but the membrane can be really tight. So you need to be super light. And then if you need a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier, you have to slowly get experience to be able to feel comfortable applying more pressure. It's absolutely a good class for baby and for children. Then there's another class that you want to do when they are a little bit older, the reflex class. The children with problem with balance, with a problem with isolation or that talk all the time or that numb or... They have problems with, with, with the school, with math, with logic, with those often have a reflex that is persistent, you know, that has not been inhibited. A lot of those reflexes are inhibited at three months or six months, but sometimes they keep it three, four, five years. And those are the kids with problems at school. So you need to check those reflex and re-inhibit them as well as very old senior citizen they get their reflex back. You need to re-inhibit them also so they don't have sucking reflex or grasping your hand and don't let go. And I don't know if you had grandpa like that. Really good mm -hmm. question.